hello, hello, my name is Tim Cleaver. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here in my buddy Jordan's garage, celebrating New Year's Eve with my friends, my good friends. And I'm gonna listen to a song, a new song I've never heard before, but I might have never heard before. They're called Slaughter to Reveal. I hear the kick ass. I hear with my ears, and so should you play it. Get the Hitchcock movie. It's the words. <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess they were here recently. Were they? They were. I, uh, At the park, right? I got a free ticket, but I went there, and by the time I got there, it was over. Oh shit! <laughs> I couldn't even get tickets for that time. I know it was all sold out like months prior. Wait, big? What's up? I'm a little drunk. <laughs> and I'm Kieran, and welcome to my vlog. <laughs> Let's let me get in the cut. <laughs> Looking for a reaction. To what do you like to say, Mike? <laughs> this is slaughter to the mail. <laughs> it's quite the slaughter. Oh yes. Did you get my dance, Karen? Oh, you fucking missed the dance, holy shit! I was like zooming on him. That was the climax of the video. I'm not doing that again. That's a short shoot. <laughs> Good job, cameraman. You got a Pontiac. This one right here. Zoom up on the license plate. Don't actually do that. No, never, never fucking do that. Pontiac five. <laughs> Never! Definitely a vibe, motherfucker. I've been in here. <laughs> I should get oh, my sick. propane heater and bring it into here and just... Sounds like really slipping up. Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah. yeah, one of the big things I found with this is that it does sound like Iowa era Slipknot. It's like a little mixture of, like, self-titled and, like, the early set before Corey Taylor. Oh. Turn this scope. <laughs> I have a sudden desire to do yard work. <laughs> the Yardians. Cheers. Cheers. Where's that company? Ward or volunteer. So who volunteered in Ward 4? What Ward? <laughs> Oh, is it that? Right there. Guys, a bit of a... <laughs> <laughs> Nimrod. Oh, I see. It's a very limited edition Green Day shirt for their album Nimrod. It came out, it was only out for like three days. Really? And I managed to snag one. Wow. Nice. That's pretty cool. Because the original cover has two different guys on it. Really? I can't remember who they are this right now. This is like their anniversary one. And new... Yeah, because they released the box set uh, like political a year ago. That's all I can say. Hmm? It's a political statement. It is. <laughs> it is a. Yeah. I don't want to get into it. What? Here we go. Fuck, that's crazy shit. It is. Tim on New Year's Eve, 2023. The vlog suits. Imagine how annoying this must be if, like, you're on a reality show or something. Yeah, no kidding. Or, like, or paparazzi. Because <laughs> you don't, because right I don't really see your face, Karen. I just see the light and everything. But you see the angles here. Yeah. <laughs> you see the angles, buddy. It makes it for a cool cinematic effect. Yeah, that's a big part of it. Here we go. <laughs> that breakdown. I gotta take a shit. I'm going over the top, punch me in the forehead. <laughs> That's the gnarliest breakdown I've ever heard in my life. No oh, way. Yeah. Yeah. Hurts. Maximum hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Ending. That's sick. You can imagine that bottle of cleaning fluid, the inside of it is fucking clean. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, overall, what do you think of that song? What do you think of this band? Good, out of good. Uh, if you were to rate out of 10. Out of 10? I don't know. 8? Hell fucking yeah, bro. Eight?